Hello! Uh, I would like to start off by saying I'm making these videos because I was unable to find any videos that were helpful to me in understanding my Cadet 2 trainer. So now I'm going to actually show you the trainer. Um, this is the breadboard itself. This is where a majority of your wires and chips to build your circuit are going to go. These are called bus strips. Uh, they are connected vertically, but the thing is they have to be bridged together. There's a gap right here, and you have to basically use a wire to jump the two and connect them um, for whether you're doing ground or power, using it as a switch or whatnot. This is the power bus, and it's basically like the bus strip here except these are always connected horizontally and they also don't require uh, any bridging like these they're all connected so let's talk about the logic monitor which is here this is where your output is going to be displayed you can also use this to test your inputs um, your teacher will probably mention the logic probe which is this thing um, let me see if I can get it in camera so this is the logic probe, and you basically use this to test every input, every uh, wire, chips. I mean, it'll, it's good to use, but um, for now, I'm just going to stick with talking about the logic monitor. Um, I use TTL logic for this trainer. It's the logic we use at my school, so basically anywhere you see TTL, and I apologize, the quality of this video sucks but um, down here it says TTL, up here it says CMOS, so I have my switch flipped down to TTL. Um, these are your power and... Uh, you can't see that. You can't see that. These are your power and ground. Um, power is also known as plus 5 volts. These are what are going to give power and ground to your chips. These are the logic switches. Um, they're going to be what provide your Boolean logic, which is on or off, essentially. So, for example, a two input AND gate requires two trues, or what's called two highs, to produce an output of true, which is also known as a high. If either or both of the switches are off, or low, the output will be low.